G'day and welcome to another video with Betterpix. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're going to have a look at a common problem that many users of digital cameras or users of scanned images uh, encounter on a regular basis. Now things have definitely gotten better with camera technology but occasionally it can still happen and that's dust spots on your images. Obviously, whenever a sensor is exposed to open air without a lens attached to a camera body, you increase the risk of dust getting into your sensor. Uh, but it's also a possibility that through the scanning process, if your negatives uh, or slides are not absolutely clean, that you can actually scan uh, some dust into the digital version of your photographs. So, it can uh, certainly happen whether you're shooting film or digital. Now, while the images that we're going to look at today are all of digital capture uh, type, uh, just keep in mind that if you are photographing with film and you're scanning, that you need to make sure that your digital files are completely clean of any dust marks. So we're going to have a look at a couple of examples today and uh, have a look at some options that are available within Adobe Camera Raw to be able to remove those dust marks. All right, first image that we're going to have a look at is actually this one down here. So, and the reason I wanted to show this image is it just it's just an example that in not in every situation do you need to worry about dust and this is kind of a an example with an obvious answer but uh, you know this image is quite busy it's got a lot of texture and if there were dust marks on this file it's highly unlikely that you're going to notice them now there might be the possibility in some of the smoother areas in the background that you do notice um, some dust masks but uh, but generally speaking you're going to find that uh, it's not going to be too much of an issue now where you will find it to be an issue is images like this which have big clean skies and immediately you've probably noticed that there's a, a very obvious dust mark just up here on the top sort of heading towards the right hand side of the frame and when you have those big blue skies or any sort of tone uh, or image that has, I guess, a, a, a flat tone uh, within the image, then that's when the dust becomes more obvious. If we have a look at this image down here as well, it may not be obvious at first, but you can actually see that there's a little dust mark there as well. So just looking at the image as it is, that's the only one that I can see, but we're going to have a look at a couple of tools to really make sure that we are able to find every dust mask and take care of them. All right, so what we're going to do is just go back to that original image and we're going to head up on the right, top right hand corner to our tools and we're going to select our erase tool and, or remove tool, my apologies. I always see that one as erase because it looks like an eraser. Uh, same outcome obviously, but uh, not too much of an issue. All right, so we have a few options. Um, we have the first one, which is remove. We have Heal and we have Clone. You can see underneath also we have Use Generative AI as an option uh, to be able to remove those uh, marks. We also have a Detect Objects. We have Show Overlay on Hover. Visualize Spots, we're going to go through these. And uh, the option to provide feedback. Obviously AI in particular is still in development and being refined. So it gives us an opportunity there to be able to refine and provide feedback and be a part of that improvement process. All right, let's go back up to the remove tool. If we just use this as an example and we remove that dot, you can see if we click on it, I've got a tool there that I can adjust the size and we can remove and it's just going to go through a process. Now I obviously have used generative AI ticked. It's using AI to look through and you can see it's removed that uh, spot really well. Let's just go back one step and we'll have a look at the next one, which is Heal. Now this is more a traditional tool that's been available with Adobe Camera Raw for quite some time. And if we click on that same dot, you can see it's sampling, it's detected the surrounding pixels and it's sampling pixels from adjacent to where we want to heal that or get rid of that dust spot. So that's a, also a great tool. It doesn't always work because it relies on the fact that there's pixels nearby of the same color, tone, brightness, contrast, everything to then be used and it not be visible that there's been an adjustment there or removal of that dust spot. Let's just go back again and let's look at the last one. Now clone, again if we click on that dust spot, it's 
basically working in the same sort of way. As you can see, it's a selected uh, area next to the spot that we're trying to remove that dust spot from. Sampled pixels and then uh, brought them across and removed that dust spot. And it seems to have done a good job. What we're going to focus on today is the remove tool. And this is really interesting because, as I said, it uses generative AI. It's basically recreating pixels within the area that you're trying to remove the dust mark so that it matches seamlessly with the surrounding area. And the tool that I really want to focus on today, which I think is a fantastic tool, is the Visualize Spots. And basically what it does is it turns the image into this... Uh, black and white uh, version. Uh, you probably would have seen this very similar if you use the uh, Alt key with uh, sharpening. And it allows us to visualize spots. Now you can see there's a slider there and we're just going to slide between the two. And basically as we go to the right, it's increasing the sensitivity in detecting potential uh, points that we want to get rid of. Now the really interesting thing is when we turn this off, the only dust mark that I can see is that one that we've been using as an example. But when we turn on Visualize Spots and we slide it to the right, you can see that there's actually other dust marks starting to appear. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's probably about 15 dust marks there that uh, you may not have actually detected in the edit process. Now, while we're looking at these images on a screen, uh, you know, that could be completely fine, particularly if you're just sharing your images online or to social media or to a website. Uh, but the difference is, is if you printed this image uh, quite large, then those dust spots can become very, very obvious. Now, the reason I've used uh, this particular image is it is one of three images that I created a panorama for, uh, for an exhibition uh, that I had many years ago when I shot this image. And uh, it was actually a meter and a half wide print. So any any uh, marks or dust spots or any issues with the image, particularly in that sky, would become very, very obvious. So that's why it's a good thing to visualize all of those spots and remove them. Uh, so that regardless of how big you print, they don't present themselves as an issue. So you can see I'm just going through, removing each of those spots. You can see that it's removing area using AI and just selecting each of those spots. Excellent. That's working really well. So it really is just selecting that spot, changing the size of the tool if you need to. You can see you can make it quite large. I don't need it to be too large. I think I had it uh, on 8. There we go. And we can select all of those dust marks and remove them. Now, if we head down to this bottom image and we turn off Visualize Spots, again, as I mentioned earlier, that was the only spot that I could actually see. I'm going to turn it on. And there's a couple more there, which is really interesting because I definitely didn't notice them earlier. So again, if you're printing images really big or if they're going to be looked at with critical eyes, it's worth... Uh, going through this process because there may actually be more dust spots there than what you realize. And last one there, so those three. So I'm going to remove that visualize spots and let's zoom in and you can see that that's actually done a really good job. And there's nothing there obvious at all that we've done any repair work to this image, removing those dust spots. Now let's go back up to this uh, this uh, trio of Himalayan images that was created into a panorama. Now, one thing that I uh, wanted to also mention is that if you are creating panoramas, my suggestion is to create your panorama first. And we're just going to go through this process a little bit quicker than what I would normally do if I was... A, um, a demonstration and the reason is is that sometimes the overlap of uh, of those images can actually um, remove some of the dust spots so they're not going to be visible visible in the first place so I actually do the merging into a panorama first and that way I'm potentially minimizing the amount of spots that I'm going to have to touch up so you can see that that panorama is now joined together We've got that panorama, and if we head over to our Remove tool, Visualize Spots, you can see that there's definitely plenty there, but there's less than if I had 
removed all of the spots on the images separately, then if I join the panorama together and then remove those spots, you can see there's definitely less that I have to deal with. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm all for reducing my workload where possible. So uh, you can see that that has definitely done the case. I won't go through and remove all of these, but it certainly gives you an idea of what's possible with removing those spots. So that will definitely help to make your workload more efficient, which I am absolutely a fan of. I'm just going to give this image a very, very quick edit. Not a great deal. Just enough to make it a little bit more interesting than what it was. So as I demonstrated, by joining that panorama together first, the overlap has removed the need to remove some of those dust spots. So if we can speed things up, happy days. I think that works really well. So have a play if you have any dust spots or anything within your images, uh, any issues that you want to remove. Have a play, but make sure you pop on visualize spots because it can certainly help for you to recognize and remove any issues that may not be apparent or clear when you're just looking at the image in a normal way. So definitely worth having an experiment with. And uh, yeah, see how you go. Hope it works for your workflow and helps to... Uh, give you another option on removing any issues with your images. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.